Hello, Cancer. Welcome and welcome back. This is your November 2022 reading, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get started, Cancer. This is a Pisces channel. However, this is a reading for you. So if you were drawn here to this particular reading, you may have some Pisces in your chart. You also may be dealing with a Pisces or you could just you know, be drawn to a message that's being delivered here. So stick around, stay tuned. I'd love to have you. If you have not subscribed, be sure to do so. Okay. Let's see. What else do I need to say? Oh, you guys can definitely leave me a comment. Let me know if this reading resonates. Let me know how you feel. Let me know where Pisces is placed in your chart as well. Um, anything else, you know, if you want to, <laughs> you don't have to share anything you don't want to share. Um, but also let's see, anything you need to know is below in the description box, cancer. I do have some apparel, not specifically for cancer, but just some, you know, a little generic apparel is cute. So check it out. 10% off sale. Okay. You guys. Okay, so first, before we get started, we are going to pick a word for you guys. Okay, Cancer, so I'm going to use a word generator, and I'm going to hit it three times, and then that's going to be your word, okay? So let's go. One, two, three. Stairs. This is so interesting, like, <laughs> doing these words. <coughs> Excuse me. This is so interesting. So stairs, Cancer, you could definitely be elevating. I feel like you could be learning new things. I feel like you are ascending. Now you could be descending as well because stairs go both ways. You can go up or you could go down. So I feel like you may be posed with a question about what you want to do. Do you want to go up the stairs? Do you want to climb this ladder or do you want to go down the stairs? Um, you could also be climbing the corporate ladder. Okay, even though it's not a ladder, um, I do feel like stairs could indicate you climbing some type of structure. Okay. You may be doing stair steps like at the gym or something like that. Um, but I, I feel like there's definitely an ascension that is possible if you're willing to take the steps. So there's some type of steps that you need to take. The spiritual meaning of stairs says, stairs may indicate the action of walking or climbing, which involves contact with your feet. This is a strong sign of transition or a change at a very personal level. Growth in terms of knowledge or spirituality is also associated with staircases. So I definitely feel like every time I see a staircase, it's like you're climbing the staircase to a higher level. Okay. But like I said, you could also be descending a staircase. And I feel like that's actually what the point of this is. It's like spirit wants you to know that you have the opportunity to ascend, but there's also the the possibility and the opportunity to descend. It's just based on your choices and your decisions. Okay, Cancer? So let's go ahead and see what your energy is going to be for the month of November. That's next. For Cancer, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, Father, Mother, God, for Cancer. Altitude. I just heard the word altitude. So I don't know. When you climb to a higher altitude, sometimes you get lightheaded. Sometimes you can't breathe. But the view is amazing. Okay. It's worth it. When you climb a mountain or like, man, I remember when I went to Stone Mountain. I climbed Stone Mountain and I was like eight months pregnant. And even though it was tiring as crap. It was very refreshing to get to the top, okay? Now, I didn't climb all the way to the top pregnant. I climbed halfway. And once we got to that halfway point, we went back down, and then we took the tram back up. I know, very backwards, right? But we wanted to go to the top, so. 
Um, I definitely feel like you guys want to reach the top of something. You want to reach the top of a career or the top of your class. But there's definitely a possibility for growth. So what is Cancer's energy? Okay. What is Cancer's energy regarding angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors for November? Hope. So this is the star card, okay? Hope. Cancer. This is positive. This is very positive. I definitely feel like you're praying for something. You guys are praying for something. And it's kind of like the way this illustration is depicted. It's like literally the light is in someone's hands. But I'm seeing it like start from nothing. From nothing being in this person's hands. So like the light starting to grow. So there's definitely something growing within you. I don't know what that is, um, but there's something growing within you, Cancer. The light is growing within you. I feel like you're praying for something. You're asking God to give you something. You're being very positive about it. That's it. What, what, what you really want is to be positive about situations. Okay, we have patience and planning at the bottom and then suffering in silence. So you've been planning something for like a year. Or maybe more, okay? The seasons are pointing out to me on this card. So look at And then I said the top of a mountain. And she's sitting there at the top of this peak. Looking over the land that she's inhabiting. Whoever you are. Don't have to be she. Whatever. But I'm saying there's something that you have been wanting. Something that you've been praying for. Something that you've been so desperately asking God, source, the universe to provide. But you've been suffering in silence. Okay. You may be worried that your plans may not come through because it's taken so long for you to see results, possibly. I definitely feel like you could be healing from some type of I don't know. You could be healing from some type of um, situation. I don't know what it is. If it's medical or more so spiritual. I'm not a doctor, lawyer, or psychologist. Please see the disclaimer below. However, I do feel like you could be healing from something. And it's taking you a lot of faith and hope and trust in a higher power to bring you where you need to go. I feel like you've dumped out all of your feelings. You've kind of maybe even had a good cry. I don't know, but, or, or you've really expressed yourself more lately. But I definitely feel like hope and faith are going to bring you to some type of elevation, Cancer, okay? And we're gonna now see what your shadow is because this, is how the opposition may try to get you off your square. Okay. How are the ops going to possibly have an opportunity to affect you? It's through a shadow, in my opinion. So let's see what that is for you, Cancer. What is Cancer's shadow for November 2022? Okay. Oh, wow. You got the title card. <laughs> May this Oracle deck awaken to awaken you to greater authenticity by working through any hidden shadows of your personality. Okay. Now I'm going to get another one, but the title card, whenever I pick the title card in this deck, it's kind of like you're already kind of aware of some of your shadows. Like you're already actively working on a solution or pursuing solutions for whatever shadows you may be dealing with. You're aware of them. You're cognizant. So people may be trying to bring things up that you already are aware of to affect you in some way. People may be trying to tell you about yourself, but it's things that you already know. And then you got another title card. So that's what it is. Just confirming. You got the second title card. 
Knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darkness of other people. Carl Jung. Yes. So, Cancer. It seems that there are certain shadows that you deal with. There are things about yourself that sometimes you may see as weaknesses, right? Or there are things about yourself that other people may try to use as we there's things about yourself deep within that other people may try to use as weaknesses. But at the end of the day, because of your awareness of these so quote unquote weaknesses, these so-called hindrances or shortcomings, because you know about these things, people can't really use it against you. And I don't think a lot of people around you, I don't know who you're around in the month of November. But I don't think that many people, another title card, understand, Cancer, that you know what you're dealing with. Like, you know who you are, okay? Or you've dealt with things. You've grown, okay? You, you've been climbing the stairs to life, okay? And I feel that your opposition or whoever tries to create blockages in your life subconsciously or consciously, they're going to be possibly attempting to throw things in your face that you've already dealt with. And it's kind of like, okay, is that your best offense? Because my defenses already are a lot stronger due to self-awareness. It's like, tell me something I don't know. Okay. So this reading could actually be a whole confirmation of things that you already know. Um, that you already have felt possibly could occur. Let me write down your title because y'all know I will forget. It. You know. That's what I feel like. Tell me something I don't know. Tell me something new. Teach me something new. So I feel like you guys are definitely seeking knowledge, climbing the steps of wisdom, seeking some type of knowledge and understanding about your life that you may not already know. And if it's a lesson that you already learned, I feel like you guys are pretty good on it. You know, like I'm good. I don't need to learn it again. I don't need to talk about this anymore. I understand what it's about. So there's nothing you can say to like make me feel bad about what I already know, you know? Yeah, okay. So what's going on with Cancer in the month of November 2022? Guardian Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides and Ancestors, Father my God for Cancer, Hierophant. <laughs> I knew it because you know what I was seeing? I was seeing the Hierophant in this deck. I have to I have to get it now because, see? Thank you, God. You see those stairs? I was seeing the Hierophant in this deck. And I was seeing the Eight of Cups in... Damn, where is it? Oh. I was seeing the Hierophant in this deck, which is the Light Sears. And I was seeing the Eight of Cups in this Luna Somnia deck. Because in the Luna Somnia deck, the Eight of Cups... Um, has a staircase and the girl is standing with her cup about to walk up the stairs um really kind of sim symbolizing to me like walking away from confusion enlightenment okay so that's what i was seeing and it's funny because that's the hierophant card so the hierophant has come out for you so November is going to be a month of learning for you, Cancer. You're going to be learning a lot. I feel like you're going to be learning a lot about yourself, about other people, about situations, about your shadows. And acceptance of who you are, acceptance of what you've been through. Acceptance is what's going to bring you through to be able to teach you what you need to learn. Like you're going to be able to teach yourself. Three of Cups and the Nine of Wands, okay? You know, with that other Hierophant card in the other deck and the Eight of Cups from the Lunasomnia deck, 
I really feel like you're learning in the month of November to walk away from people, to separate your energy from people who don't serve you, to protect your harvest, protect your celebrations. Your harvest could be anything. Your harvest could just be your home, your space, your body, your sanity, your emotions. Okay. Your friendships, your family. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Okay. But I really feel like this is a month of you learning how to protect yourself, Cancer. Um, you could be feeling very spiritual or religious this month. In November, you could find yourself praying a lot. I also feel like you may find yourself teaching others or being inclined to share your wisdom with other people, which I feel brings you wisdom as well. It's a very spiritual month for you. Um, I feel like you're becoming way more devoted to creating boundaries with people, creating boundaries with friends, with family, with people you date. This could be a specific person. Um, it may be a sibling, a cousin, a friend, someone who you grew up with, someone who maybe you live with, roommate situation. But it's like either you're learning that it's important for you to create boundaries with this person or you're learning that it's important for you to protect this person. But I feel more so like it's boundaries, okay? You're learning the importance of boundaries. And I think that that's very crucial because if you're in a place of elevation or if you're in a place of learning, growth, knowledge, things like that, I really do feel that you are open spiritually to a lot of attacks because your light is growing. That's what I was seeing. I, I feel like the light in this person's hand is the light that's within you. And I definitely feel like the light within you is growing. I feel like you're a very positive person or you're learning how to be more positive. But a lot of, I feel like a lot of prayer, a lot of, speaking to spirit a lot of like maybe even talking to yourself but it's growth because you you're you feel the growth it's like you know when you're a baby you can't help but to grow your body can't help but to grow your bones can't help but to get bigger and expand the same thing is true i feel for your spirituality you can't help but to expand and as your light expands so does your visibility, not only visibility that you have within yourself, but the visibility of others to be able to see you. And I feel like your, your light cancer has always been shining very brightly and people may have been, you know, not cherishing it the way that they should. I also feel like with this newfound understanding of yourself, you're learning that you don't have to be worried about celebrating or you don't have to be worried about good things happening to you. I kind of feel like you have this negative connotation with good things. Like, you know how sometimes people say every time something good happens, something bad follows or something like that. I don't know what the saying is, but I kind of feel like you're growing out of that or you're learning that that's not true as long as you have boundaries with people. You know, for example, you could win the lottery, but because you're learning how to have boundaries, you don't piss all your money away on people who don't care about you. Okay, we have the five of wands and the six of swords that just wanted to come out. Yeah, you're leaving the drama behind. No more fighting, no more competing, no competition. You don't want to be friends with anybody. You don't want to deal with anybody family or platonic wise. You don't want to date anybody who's trying to compete with you. Yep, and there's the Eight of Cups. You see what I'm saying? So some of you could be walking away from a marriage, a relationship, a long-term commitment, a job, a church, a religion, a person, a place, a thing. It doesn't matter. But I feel like it definitely could be a relationship or a marriage. You're walking away, moving out, 
from a roommate situation. Maybe just the fact that you're walking away from a Taurus. Um, you could be also moving more towards an unconditional, un un not unconditional, unconventional way of living, like some type of habit or routine. Maybe you're doing something differently. It's just a change. A change from what's expected of you to what it is that you really want to do, what it is that you really want in life. You're being guided in a different direction because there's been too much conflict. There's been too much arguments. There's been too much fighting either with this Taurus or in this marriage or relationship or in this community group. I feel like it's a church group or a pastor or something like that. I don't know, but it's, it's like you're walking away from whatever this is, whatever you're expected to do or whatever you feel like you've been expected to do. You're doing what you feel is right. And you may not want to walk away. It may not be easy, but it's like something you have to do. You're really dedicated to moving away from situations that don't serve you. But specifically situations that don't serve you where people are expecting something of you. That's what I feel. Okay. What's the higher fit? Okay. First you have the Hermit in reverse and then the two of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, you know, or Capricorn. Earth is strong, but you could definitely be speaking out as well. You're you're trying to figure out if you're gonna speak out or Tell someone something. It's like an institution. I don't know. You may feel institutionalized. Like you've been waiting to say something. It's definitely something that you either have in your possession that you're trying to protect or it's something that like an idea that you want to protect from other people who may try to criticize you. It's like everybody knows that you've been trying to do something and they've been watching you quote unquote fail. Right. But you haven't really failed because each time that you tried to do whatever this is, you learned something more. That's what I'm getting with the nine of wands. You got that twice. So it's like you may have tried to start a business five different times. You may have had five or six different business ideas and you tried to start them and they always fail. And people may have judged you for that. Like people may have ridiculed you or criticized you for that. But you never gave up. You keep going because you have this vision of celebration or happiness or independence or whatever your happiness and stability is would be in your visualization. That's what you're thinking about. So you keep praying about it. You keep asking God for help and you may keep failing because the foundation of a situation is not stable. The reason or the motives or the mission may not be stable. But each time you learn something new about yourself, about your shadows, about your strengths and your weaknesses and what you have to do to be the successful person that you want to be in, whatever this is the next time. Do you follow me? So the star card is after um, star card is after the tower. And I definitely feel like some of you may have been going through a situation recently where your plans may not have worked out the way that you thought they would, there could have been an unexpected change or a hiccup that came up. But what I really do get is that in the month of November, you remaining positive and you creating strong boundaries with people who try to talk you out of things or people who try to talk down on you, criticize you deconstructively, you creating boundaries with those types of energies are going to help you feel more confident in whatever this is that you're doing. I feel like it's something about your stability. So maybe being independent, 
You could have tried to like maybe start your own business, um, work independently, live alone, you know, because I'm definitely getting like roommate situations or like, I don't know, some type of like co-op type of situation. This is what I feel like you've been dealing with for a majority of your recent past. It's like situations where you have to work with other people or situations where you may be a little bit of, uh, dependent on other people. But this could be because you may have been afraid to do things on your own. You may have been afraid to celebrate too quickly because, you know, things fall through. Like I said, with every good thing that happens, something bad follows. Like people, it's like, I feel like you've been thinking about things in that type of frame of mind. And it's because people around you have been trying to remind you of your problems. They've been trying to remind you, oh yeah, cancer, but remember, you you know you lazy. You know you lazy, right? So, you know, if you want to have a business, you got to stop being lazy or, you know, and they might be trying honestly to help you, but sometimes people don't know how to deliver those types of messages. And depending on who you're dealing with, it may not be constructive, so I feel that this is a challenge for you right now. Um, you may be uh, financially unstable at this time or feeling financially unstable, like you can't do something on your own. But I feel actually that that is your challenge, that that's actually something that you may need to try to do is to do something on your own. Or if you did try and you failed, or you feel like you failed, you have to look at it differently. Like it's not really a failure. I just learned something new so that when I go off into the distance and the sunset again, right, nine of pentacles. So when I go off into the distance and the sunset again, I have more preparation. Okay. What's the hermit in reverse? Eight of swords. I really do feel like, cause this, that, this, that's the star too. I really feel like you guys are. learning a lesson you're learning a lesson but you guys may be afraid to learn a lesson or you're afraid to do something on your own that's what i feel i feel like some of you may feel alone when you're alone that's uh, it's it's kind of like i don't think it's a fear of abandonment issues it's just a uh, maybe a phobia or fear of being alone or having to do something alone What's the hermit in reverse? Chariot. Yeah. You like some this kind of feels like um a teenager who's afraid to leave the house. This could be what you're dealing with. Maybe your child is afraid to move out or afraid to be a dependent. This could be you possibly being afraid to branch out. And I just feel like you staying in the same place or you not trusting in your own abilities could be keeping you kind of like a big fish in a small pond. What's the two of pentacles? Some of you may also have a car in the shop or something. A car that was in the shop could be coming out of the shop. But you may be having some trouble paying for it, repairs. Um, that could be why you may not trust your independence right now. You could be having some financial struggles. Three of Wands. Yeah. Two of Wands and the Emperor. Yeah. What else is the two of pentacles? Nine of wands. It's like you don't know what to expect. I feel like you may be fearing something that is actually not going to be as bad as what you think. It's like, yeah, three of cups and the nine of wands. Yeah. 
It's like you, you're you afraid to move out. You're afraid to move on. You're afraid to break up. You're afraid to divorce. You're afraid to do something. And it could be because of fear of persecution. This could be religious beliefs, but it's like you're afraid to date again or you're afraid to get back out there. It's like you're afraid to leave a comfort zone. That's really what I feel. I feel like you guys, Cancer, you're afraid to take action or you're afraid to leave a comfort zone. But I feel like... In you taking this action or you leaving this comfort zone, you're actually going to learn a lot. You're going to you're gonna become a lot wiser. I feel like you're going to be able to rebuild your life. And it's something that I, I, you know, this could be you being afraid to travel. Somebody could have been in the same hometown for several years and be afraid to travel, but... Whatever this is, it's like you're in a comfort zone. You're afraid to leave said comfort zone, but you're being guided away to do something by yourself without anyone around you so that you can be in a better place in your life overall. So you can be at a higher level. That's what I feel like this is about. So whatever specifics there are for you, it doesn't matter. That's what the bottom line is for the month of November. Spirit is trying to guide you away. Your guardian angels are trying to guide you away from drama, from conflict, from confusion in your own mind. But I feel like you're kind of running from that, okay? And I, I really do feel like spirit wants you to move forward from something. You're ready. You're prepared. They've prepared you. Or you will have what you need as you take this action. But I feel like you're kind of scared, okay? So just know that once you get your courage up, there's going to be something really beautiful on the other side. You just have to have faith. You have to continue speaking to your ancestors, your spirit guides, to God, whoever you believe in, and trust that whatever you're building, whatever you have to start over to do is going to be a lot more stable than whatever it is that you're holding on to. Okay. So what is the angel number for cancer? Okay, two, two, two. Okay, it says, trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and actions. I am balanced. Okay, so spirit wants you to know you are balanced. They want you to have hope and faith and not be afraid. You're never alone. Because like, this is like a kid who's afraid to move out of their parents' house because like, oh, I'm gonna be alone in the house. You're never alone. You always have support from your spirit team. And then I just said, when you get the courage, look at the bottom. It says, I am brave. It's time to move on from the old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave, Cancer. Okay, Don't ever let anybody get you down. Because that's what I feel like this is. It's like a situation where people are trying to scare you, you know, out of doing something. Because they're like, oh, we know how you are. This could be family. This could be friends. This could be a spouse. But let's see. What's the advice for cancer for the month of November? Okay. Detox your friendships. All these cards fell out. I'm not, I'm going to show you them, but let's do detox your friendships because that definitely seems relevant. Okay. So detox your friendship says your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you spend, you're spending your time. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. I knew it. I feel like you're moving on from a friend group because there could be a lot of conflict, competition. You may be deciding to meet new people, but it could be any group. It, like I said, a church group, a religious group, a spiritual group, a, a marriage, a relationship, a roommate situation, a friends group, a coworkers group, whatever. Detox your friendships. Detox your life of people 
who confuse you or try to compete in an unhealthy way. Now, just so you know, the other cards that fell out are power of prayer, which is hope. You also have clearing debts. And you have windfall of abundance. So whatever you're doubting, whatever you may be afraid of right now, whatever you may be nervous of doing that is affecting, that that is, you know, whatever you're nervous about doing that, you know, is affecting your life and you want to change it for the better, but you may be afraid of what's on the other side, don't be. That's really the strongest message that I get from you, um, Cancer. So thank you so much for being here, you guys. Be sure, as always, to like, share, and subscribe. By liking the video, it's a great way to help the channel, you guys. And be sure to check out the apparel. It's 10% off. Get a reading if you like. I might be running a sale. Let me know where Pisces is in your chart, how you felt about this reading in the comments. And I'll see y'all next time, okay? Cancer, remember, this is your circle, boo. Bye.